Bow, wow, wow, yippee, yo, yippee, yay. Wolf mother, the dog came to play. Cow gun, cow gun, take me away. I'm in the dirty, dirty with my nephew, Jay. Dizzy, Izzy, boy, we getting busy with my little bow wheezy. This shit here off the hizzy. Oh! <laughs>
tell one of our favorite Snoop Dogg moments as we do this challenge. Y'all, Snoop Dogg is a legend. You hear me? He didn't been called Snoop Doggy Dog, Snoop. Uh, what was the what his name was uh, when he was doing the uh, gospel rap? Something Lion, Rasta Lion, or something like that. He didn't been some of everything. He didn't rap. He sing, he an actor, he was a gospel artist, he been in he been in TV commercials in Germany. He be, he be doing stuff that you don't even think he should be doing. You think, I swear, Snoop Dogg be bored, and he be like, I want to get a, a commercial about bug spray. Make his calls. Yeah. You got some available? I'll do it. Cool. But there you go. A whole commercial about bug spray. Don't even know why. Like, it's, he just do, he just do some of anything, I promise. But he is a working dude. He's a hard worker. He got a smooth swagger about him. I love him. I love him. Mm. Here's one dude who done been through all kind of hairstyles. You know, the curls, the press, the braids. Now he got locks. Man, listen, that's my boy. But I gotta say, he did just do the Super Bowl. It was great. I was so glad to see him and his element uh, putting on for us. But to be honest, my favorite <laughs> moment of his is probably when he had that cooking show with Martha Stewart. Y'all, that was some of the most comical, yet genius material on the TV during that time. Like, if you can't tell me, Mark, think about it. Martha Stewart and Snoop Dogg, this goes to show again. He be just bored and trying to figure out what he can do to pass some time. So he said, I want to do a cooking show with Martha Stewart. Oh, I want to tell you, it was the funny, and that was on there... I don't care what you say. Snoop Dogg. Y'all. Snoop Dogg had Martha Stewart on there lit. Do you hear me? She was on there lit. I don't care. I'm going to find a clip. Put it right here. <laughs> I'm getting blushed. <laughs> You're raising my temperature. <laughs> <laughs> so look, y'all, I got fat. And I was like, I could do the Nathan hot dogs and keep it like simple, but I want to see what it'll taste like if I had a kielbasa in a blanket. A kielbasa sausage in a blanket. It's giving quick breakfast. It's giving <laughs> less experiment. <laughs> I like it. Yeah, man. Who was that show called? Hold on. I'm gonna find it. <clears throat> Martha Stewart. At Snoop Dogg show. Martha Stewart's potluck dinner party. Yes, bro. That that was golden. That was golden material. Do you hear me? If you've never seen it, please find it on your TV, YouTube, whatever, whatever, and watch it. Hmm. Y'all, so, um, last week, <clears throat> I ended up getting sick. I absolutely hate getting sick. I was on live Tuesday, 
Mardi Gras, Fat Tuesday. I was on live celebrating, just trying to chill. My body went from zero to, to like being a hundred to zero fast. I got chills all over my body. My body was aching. My head started hurting. My throat started hurting. I like <laughs> I just shut down. So I ended my life. I got in the bed. When I tell you I was shivering, I had cold sweats. It was bad. I didn't have a fever, which is great, which is good. So I was doping up on medicine, mucinex. Took a whole bottle of mucinex. Not in one sitting, but took a whole bottle of that uh, Nyquil and Theraflu and <laughs> ibuprofen. So if you're hearing my voice, that's why I was very, very under the weather. I did take a COVID test, which I actually did it on one of my shorts. Um, so you can go back and watch that short of me actually taking the at-home COVID test. It did come back negative. So thank the Lord for that. Um, I know people say it may not be accurate, but to me, it's that negative. So guess what? I'm negative. But I feel much better. Um, I know a few of y'all. Check in. I appreciate it. <clears throat> mm, 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 mm. I think. If I'm not mistaken, these hot dogs in the blanket was in his cookbook. He has a new cookbook out. I'm telling y'all, <laughs> Snoop Dogg gonna leave this earth and be done touched every aspect of life. You know what I'm saying? He done did everything. You know what I'm saying? Like, this man done did everything. But that's how you gotta go out. You know? When you die, everybody gotta die. I know it's sad, it's what it is, what it is. But when you die, you want to die empty. Message! Right? You want to die completely empty. Which means you want to have spent your entire life doing and being and giving and doing everything in your power, everything that God has designed for you to do and everything that God has given you to do, do it. Any idea you have, any talent you have, any skill, gift, whatever you have inside of you, it needs to come out before you die. And every day that you wake up, you're getting closer to your expiration date, every single day. So make sure you wake up and do what it is that you <clears throat> want to do. There's no time to waste. No time to waste. If you want to do YouTube, please get up and do YouTube. It took me years to start my first video. And I had been screaming about it, about it, hollering about it. Like, I want to do YouTube. I want to do YouTube. I want to do YouTube. My friend was like, girl, just do it, please. Just shut up. <laughs> but time waits for no man. Time is literally a linear fragment of the universe. The time that you're going to be on this earth doesn't even put a dent in the time that's on this universe. You know what I'm saying? It doesn't even put a dent in it. So what will you do with the time? It may seem long to you. 50 years, 100 years, however many years may seem long to you, but it, it won't even put a dent in it, y'all. <laughs> Not even a dent. So make sure you wake up and give it your all. I know sometimes you don't want to get up. I know sometimes you don't be wanting to give it energy. But what will Snoop Dogg do? <laughs> he would think about what he could do next. That's what he can do. I don't want no letters. On my Brussels sprout. Mm. No season for them Brussels sprouts. Ooh, so far. Mm. 
This was good. Oh, this was simple. Ooh, excuse me. This was simple. All you need is two ingredients. Okay? Two. Hot dog and some Pillsbury croissants. That's all you need. <laughs> so you can't do this challenge. Get on this challenge real quick and do this. Do what you're doing. Two ingredients. Put your sauce. Come on, man. Get on it. Coco, I love you. Thank you again. I got to challenge two people. I'm going to challenge what's good with Lamar. And I'm going to challenge Mahogany's Palace. Welcome to Mahogany's Palace. <laughs> I love y'all. Like, comment, and subscribe. Share this video. And all that good stuff. Megas out. Peace.